Hey guys, I'm Geek. In this video, I'm sharing with you guys a little bit more gameplay of South Park The Strict of Truth here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you haven't seen the size of this game when it's installed, of course, the, uh, this one, Stick of Truth, is only available as digital. So it's going to take you 5.4 gigabytes of storage. I already finished the story. So right now, the only thing I can show you guys is that right now I'm at 14 hours and 14 minutes, which was the last time, time I actually played in the morning um, at work. So 14 hours and 14 minutes, and that's way past. That's way past. I would say that's like an hour past of me finishing the story um so when you think about it i think i finished the story like in 12 to 13 hours between 12 to 13 hours uh, i found it i found it a lot shorter than um um fractured but whole yeah i did find it a lot shorter than fractured by whole because fractured by whole actually took me around 20 hours to compete or to flint to finish and it was really good i really like this version of the game as well the combat style is totally different and i'd say this combat style i really like it a little bit better but i liked the attacks of the fracture but hole better because it had like a lot of tech attacks and like like a lot of super um, badass attacks with nice little cutscenes. this game lacks that a little bit compared to that but it still has it it still has it it's like special attacks with nice cutscenes. it still does have that uh, but um, it is really good. No matter which one you get, I think you're going to love it. Uh, but, of course, like I said before, this game is for adults. Um, and if you're one of those adults that get, you know, um, offended easily, don't watch this. Don't play this game. If you don't like the show, don't play this game. If you get offended by the show, don't play this game. Uh, but me, I'm loving it. I love the, the TV shows, and I'm actually watching season 22 right now. And I'm on. I'm up to date with um, episode 2 that just came out this week, which was really freaking awesome. Um, but it's really good. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share this video, also share in this video, is my opinions about the new Nintendo Switch that might come out next year, 2019. Now, what do I think about it? Should we get it? Should we not get it? I think Nintendo needs to release one. Needs to release a refreshed uh, console, which adds power instead of more cosmetic. Uh, instead of going to the route like um, Xbox One S, which was more cosmetic than hardware, than internal guts, and the PlayStation 4 Slim that was more cosmetic than internal guts, they should go towards the Pro version of the Switch. In my opinion, they should because there's a lot of tr great AAA games that would, I'm pretty sure they would love to put those games on the Switch, but the problem with the Switch is the power. You know, it's the power that's it's making it hard for them to put those games on the Switch. Uh, like, for example, a game like Resident Evil 2, which is a remake of an old-ass game. A game that came out, wow, more than 10 years ago. And looks incredible. And in my opinion, that game should be on the Switch. That uh, refresh or remaster should be on the Switch. And they said it's not going to be on the Switch. Um, another game like Kingdom uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, the game coming out, I think it's 3? The one coming out in January or February? That game, I think I heard a developer just the other day say that they want to put that game on the Switch. They want to put it. But it's all about the power. You know, and I think Nintendo, if Nintendo upgrades the guts a little bit i'm not saying drastically but a little bit i think it would be better for us to get more triple a games um and it, is it too soon in my opinion it's not in my opinion it's not because think about it when the ps4 and xbox one came out right it was 2013 i think it was and then 2016 i think uh they both got their refresh models with the s and the slim so that was like three years after, or almost three years, which is basically the same thing that's going to happen now. If it does come out in 2019, um, I'm, I predict if it does, it'll come out like in fall 2019. So that, would, that means that it would be almost three years 
uh, from the Switch being out on March 2017. So it would be two years, right? Tw 2019 is two years, March, and a couple more months there, you know. So I think, yeah, I think they should. Will it happen? I think it will also happen, but I don't know how they're going to do it. Are they going to go the hardware, you know, the, the cosmetic upgrades, or are they going to go the guts upgrades, like uh, like improving the RAM, improving the GPU, improving the screen? Um, are they going to go that way, or are they going to go cosmetic, making, it the, making the screen a little bit bigger, but the console a little bit more slimmer? Um, I don't know. But I think Four that's the way they should go. I think they should actually up upgrade the guts. Yeah. Um, the screen, I don't really care if the screen is 1080p or 720p. As long as it actually runs at 720p and 1080p in TV mode. Because as it is right now, as it is right now, there's a whole bunch of games. Um, like, for example, um, Wolfenstein 2, Doom, that are running on the Switch, but they're not running at 720p in, in portable mode. No, they're not. They're running like a, like a 640 or, or something like that. They're not running at 720p in portable mode. And that's something that Nintendo promised in portable mode, 720p. Uh, TV mode, 1080p. And that's not happening. That's not happening with the big AAA games that we're getting. That is not happening. So, if you make that happen 100% guaranteed, like, if the game should run at 720p, 60 frames per second in portable mode, that's the way it should be. If the game should run 1080p, 60 frames per second in TV mode, that's the way it should be. You know, I think that for me is a would be a huge upgrade, a uh, huge performance, and I don't really care if the screen, like I said, it's 1080p or 720p. I don't care as long as it as it runs like it should run. Okay, 720p, 60 frames, or 720p, 30 frames. If the games actually demand 30 frames per second, because not every game should demand 60 frames per second. Um, and um. One thing that they definitely should, it doesn't matter how they go, if they go to with the cosmetic upgrade or with the guts upgrade, they should definitely, definitely add a lot more um, storage inside of it because 32 gigabytes, it is not enough. Right now, there's games that you buy out of the box. You buy the game from the store and the game actually says you need a micro SD card to play this game. You need it. You can't play... Um, for example, I think NBA 2K19, you can't play that game if you don't have a micro SD card. So right there, if you buy the Switch and you want to buy 2K and you buy the fit, oh, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the console. And since the uh, Switch has 32 gigabytes, I'm just going to buy the physical game of the 2K19 and I'm going to go home and play. <laughs> you're going to be really disappointed because the game is going to force you to actually put a micro SD card inside with more than 32 gigabytes. It will force you, and that is not fair. I think that it doesn't matter what game you buy at the store. It doesn't matter. You should buy it, and you should be able to play it just like on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One X or Xbox One. You, buy, you don't have to upgrade your hard drives. You, know, you don't have to out of the box. You don't have to upgrade your hard drive. You could just go ahead and play, install games, and uninstall, and keep playing, uninstall, install, uninstall, install. You can live like that with both consoles. On the on the Switch, you can't. So I think, one, they should upgrade the storage. That's like a must. For me, that's like a must. They must upgrade the storage. The Switch, in my opinion, should not be smaller. Some people say that the Switch should be smaller, that way it can, it could be easier to carry around. But think about it, if they make it smaller, the Joy-Cons are going to be smaller. And it's going to be even harder to play with individual Joy-Cons if you're, an, if you're an, 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 an adult. So for me, no. No, no, no. They should not make the Switch smaller. If anything, they can make it bigger. If anything, they can just... Um, no, they don't even have to make it bigger. They could just leave it the way it is. And if you want to make the screen bigger, the Switch has so much bezels. <laughs> it has so much bezels that you can actually make the big the screen bigger with the same body. 
you can actually do that or they could just make the switch bigger making the joy cons bigger and easier to use in in joy con mode or, or separate joy cons that would be beneficial you know if they go bigger it's more beneficial than going smaller in my opinion but you know other than that i don't think there's too much you have to do to the switch because the switch as it is it's one of my favorite consoles since it came out i've been playing more on the nintendo switch than on my playstation 4 and xbox one since i got the switch i stopped playing the xbox one and right now the 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 game that I'm playing, which is an Xbox One game, is Forza Horizon 4. And I'm not even playing it on the Xbox One X or S. I'm playing it on my laptop. Because it um, Xbox games, you can play it anywhere um, with laptop or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. That, and um, so the game that I'm playing the most, the console that I'm playing the most, is the Nintendo Switch. Then for all the awesome AAA games and the exclusive games like Spider-Man, God of War, for, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, all those awesome games and Tomb Raider and all those games, I'm playing them on the PlayStation 4. You know, I'm not bothering, I'm not, you know, bothering with uh, three consoles right now. I'm just right now PlayStation 4 and the Switch and my favorite console right now is the switch because i could take it anywhere and i could play some triple a games on it and oh. nintendo games if you love yeah. nintendo games you know it's amazing at you can oh. run great uh, nintendo games like Zelda for the world uh mario odyssey super mario odyssey and every other exclusive oh. nintendo game nintendo is doing a great job when it comes to um, putting their games and the consoles and making them run like awesome AAA games. So when it comes to that, when it comes to exclusive Nintendo games, you're not going to have any problem whatsoever playing them on the Switch. And just because of that, I think I think Ow. Nintendo should still upgrade the, the console because in, in, in a lot of ways, if you're buying Nintendo because of the exclusive games, I think even if they upgrade the guts of the next Nintendo, a lot of those Nintendo games are still going to run on the old Nintendo games. They, I guarantee you that Nintendo will not uh, let um, let the old customers or, or customers that bought the old Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty sure they will not burn them. I'm pretty sure that every Nintendo game that comes out We'll play on both consoles, and of course, indie games can run on freaking phones, so I'm pretty sure they'll run on both consoles, and some ports of old AAA games like Soul, um, Soul, Sac not Soul, I was going to say Soul Sacrifice, um, what's the other the game coming out this October 19, Soul something, it's games like that, old games, old ports, they still can run on the old Nintendo Switch if a new one actually comes out. So, for me, should they do it? Yes, they should do it. Um, especially if it's at the end of next year. You know, if it's, you know, over two years of release, a refresh model, it's it's a good. Because, let me say you, man. There's a lot of great games that I wish I can play on the go. Like, right now, if you saw my Twitter today i posted a photo of the um assassin's creed odyssey installed on my nintendo switch and i was like man wouldn't it be great to play an assassin's creed odyssey on the switch in reality it would be awesome who would be against that who would be against playing um assassin's creed odyssey or to uh, shadow of the tomb raider or red dead redemption 2 who would be against that on the switch nobody nobody would be against that on the on the switch so right now yes the if you saw my switch you see that the uh, assassin's creed odyssey is installed that's because i downloaded it from the <laughs> nintendo switch japanese shop um it's available there so if you download it you have to have you actually have to be resident of Japan. I tried to play it. It wouldn't let me play it. I'm going to have to try again to see if it actually let me play with um, by entering my Ubisoft account. 
because I think um, after you play it or you get to play it, they, you can actually play it offline with a demo. Uh, but I don't know, you know. Um, in that game, just like Resident Evil 7, are being streamed to the Nintendo Switch. So the Switch, in reality, is not running the game. The game is not installed on the Nintendo Switch. It's just a little file. Um, uh, that's like It's not even 100 megabytes, I think. It's not even 100 megabytes, and what it does, it lets you connect to the servers and it lets you play the games um, via streaming from the cloud like uh, PlayStation Now used to be. Now PlayStation Now lets you download the games to the to the console, but the way PlayStation Now used to be, that's how you play uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and that's how you play Resident Evil 7, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more games coming out like that. And... Most likely, with the next update that we get of the Switch, most likely they'll bring those features here to the United States too as well. Think about it. They might say, hey, if you want to play it, Odyssey, it's not available physical, but hey, you could try it out streaming. If you want it, I don't know why would you choose play it streaming where you could play it physically on the PlayStation 4 and it's going to look way better on the PlayStation 4. So, honestly... If you have a PlayStation 4, just buy it. Just play the game on the PS4 or Xbox One. But I don't think it's worth streaming any of those two video games to the Switch. Not at all. So, guys, that's it. That I That's my thoughts about the new Nintendo Switch. If it actually comes out in 2019, I believe it will. I believe it's true. But I really don't know how is it going to be. Is it going to be like a cosmetic upgrade like they always do, you know, with the 3ds and their old consoles or is it going to be like um, a pro version with better guts better storage better cpu better ram uh, capable of running better the ports of triple a games that's the way they should go in my opinion that's the way they should go so guys let me know in the comments what you think about this game so far a stick of truth did you play it or not i love it for me for me like i said yesterday in my instagram uh, Stick of Truth and Butthole, the Fractured Butthole, are the two best RPG games that I played this that year nice. on the Nintendo Switch. Awesome. For me, hands down, the best two RPG games played on the Switch this year. So, guys, thanks for watching my video. Let me know what you think about my thoughts of the new rumored um, Nintendo Switch for 2019. And let me know what you think about this game as well. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.